What is Tai Chi? What is it? Do you guys have any idea? Have you ever, I mean, there's people with experience. What is it? Just yell at me. This is a dialogue. I mean, the great ultimate. Chinese the great language. ultimate is the literal translation. Yes. Tai Chi Chuan. This is the great ultimate. Practicing cool. moving energy. Yeah, practicing moving energy. It's a chi Harnessing it. Yep, yep. You learn to harness it. Let's just start just with the basics. You've all, some of you have had qigong, some of you have had meditation and whatnot, and you've heard of belly breathing, right? This is the start of it all. When you take an inspiration, and this is just the beginning, this is not the end result, but you gain, gotta gain control, you have to learn to descend qi before you can move qi. Descending qi in the body is difficult to do because we did it as babies. We've all come into this world and we've, we've belly breathed when we were young. What happens is your diaphragm flips down, actually increases the thoracic air volume and you get more oxygenation. Uh, somebody with a higher constitution, a higher genetic constitution, a thicker constitution, will have a wide angle. Why do they have a wide angle? They have a wide angle because they can inspire more. They can absorb more oxygen out of their environment and be stronger. Smaller angles, uh, more difficult, it decreased thoracic air volume. Does that make sense? So, chi is air. That's one of the representations of chi. There are multitudes. It's not just this mysterious energy that pervades all existence. It has physical connections. It has physical connections in your body in different tissues. Different tissues conduct different types of chi. We're going to be mostly dealing with air pressure and uh, muscle tendon qigong. We'll do a little thermal qigong, but mostly um, more of the external, more of the physical sensation, feeling type qigong. Take a deep breath and see if you can drop your diaphragm. So when you take a deep breath, you look like Buddha. Stick it out. It's the one place where we love to stick it out. Relax. <coughs> it will help you if you point your shoulders down. And there's a reason for that, because it kind of guides the chi down the Ren Chan into the belly. This is the yin posture. This is what you hear, the qigong posture. Just tuck your sacrum under, make your belly big, keep your head up. This is just one of the postures. The other one is the exact opposite of that. And this is something they don't teach, which annoys me. You cannot stay in the yin stage your whole time. You have to come out of yin to be whole. So, <laughs> All of these are coiled, specifically, this is your bio battery. So on a day-to-day -day basis, that's what you're supposed to fill up. So when you descend the chi, and you get the oxygen in down there next to the coils, it creates a charge, right? So it's one way of creating energy for your existence. It's down here in the bio battery. Collection, C of chi, Ren 17, master of chi. Everything, this mechanism is not talked about. A classroom of beginners, you would never hear this lecture. I've had the traditional teachers, and they will, will say to you, oh, no, stand straight up. Okay. Move your hand just a little bit to the right. Okay. They don't tell you why. They'll just force you to do that for three years until you prove that you're going to stick around. Then they'll teach you the real info. I'm giving you, I'm trusting that you're here for a reason. You're in the medical profession, and I'm giving you info. So your main homework, and what we're going to practice today, is just this. It's called the, the internal pump, and it uses the two main meridians of the body. The main meridian up the back is the dew channel. main meridian in the front is the ren. So when you guide the chi to the ren, you guide the chi up the dew. And this happens in every qigong posture, everyone that's out there. Wild goose, Taoist. Everything. Collect. Move. Make sense? That's why you see them bobbing up and down all the time. And they'll do it subtly as they get better so they don't give away the secret. <laughs> what organ system did we just move from? Heart. What are we moving into? Metal. Long, right? Okay. <clears throat> Consequently, when is flu season? 
beginning. It's either transition or inline period. When do you do your most ca cardio? In the summer, right? We want to look good in bathing ba suits, right? Everyone does. That's cardio season. Same thing, the daily flow of chi in your body via time. We're actually doing it at what, around what time? What, what, what energetic time? Kidney. Kidney, right? So it's actually going to be easier for you guys to descend the chi during this time of the day than it would if we were to meet at, at noon. And Taoist medicine, they did all this. They would treat the patient based upon where the energy is in the body at that specific moment, at that specific season, at that specific afternoon. It's very compartmentalized. So the more you practice, the more you realize each of these has a flavor of its own. It is not just this energy flow. If you ask a room full of people to feel their chi, and this is the classic exercise, right? Put your hands together, okay, do you feel anything? Rub them, okay, that's heat, okay, that's good, that's one form of chi. That is not the only form of chi. You will feel the sensation that you conduct in for your constitution most efficiently. There are different chi movements for each organ system in the body. So like when you're practicing muscle tendon qigong, that's a branch of wood chi and a little bit of earth chi. You're using your muscles to move your body. Yi Chuan deals with earth chi. Yi Chuan means intention fist. So it deals with the, what's the, the energy of the spleen? Your intention, right? So that's dealing with a different type of chi. I can talk to you while I manipulate that type of chi because it's not dependent upon breath. It's dependent upon muscle nerve input in the actual physical structure of the, 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 the muscle fiber. The type of chi we're going to practice most in the beginning is pressurization chi, which is air. Air turning into fascia. So it's, it's air and metal element turning into wood. We're going to dredge our channels. We're going to dredge the meridian. Does that make sense? Um, I'll demo, because we're going to be doing the, the fascial qigong a lot, I'll demo the fascial one. Um, let's use big guys, Carl. And you can feel this. You're skeptical. Come up and feel this. This is not a trick. I'm just picking him randomly. So put your arm on my shoulder. What you're going to do is use all your oomph, and you're going to hang on my joint. So don't like pull, don't bounce down, and don't you're move. Gonna you're just going to try to break my joint. He's pretty strong. But do you see what's happening to him? You see the vibration? He's using muscular strength. He's using. You know? <laughs> I'm initiating muscle strength. Okay, so he's strong, so that's good. So that's what you're gonna do to me. I'm pretty strong, so I'm gonna just resist with muscles. No, 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 on the end, pull it there. There you go. Go ahead. <laughs> Make me look weak, thank you. <laughs> so this is pressurization. I'm gonna pressure, pressure my abdomen. I'm gonna move it from there to my sternum, out the arm. Ben, I can talk to you. I'm not straining. <laughs> not a right. trick. Can you feel it come in? Yeah. It's not it feels good. like a wave. Yeah. Now watch me relax. Now go ahead. Huh. See the difference? Yeah. You can see it. I'm like <laughs> vibrating versus not doing a damn thing. Hmm. You want to feel it? Come feel. Let's do two. Two arms. Come on. <laughs> come on. This is fun. <laughs> For me. <laughs> So it's just like a fulcrum, so I, I'm going to do um, strength first. No. You're just trying to bend, yeah, bend straight down on my elbow. You won't hurt me. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> it turns into an iron bar. So yeah. you learn to move the pressure around your body, so you can pressurize certain areas.